What's up everybody, Joe here, I'll join you for back at again with Corby Superstar on the Super Nintendo Part 3, we are here wrapping up Dino Blade with Fire and Knuckle Jam, yeah. So, I'm gonna follow up on the last episode, so, how we were talking about the Corby anime, and I promise, well I'm not gonna promise, but hopefully I won't be talking about that entire part like last episode, but, so, how I was talking about those like the episode that was very Harry Potter-esque, Apparently they got into lawsuit problems over like the Harry Potter license because of that. Now like me, I think when the episode aired in America, because I know the series in America, like when they aired in America, it aired a couple years after the Japanese did. So I'm assuming when that aired in America, that's when it happened, because. I well, I didn't really look into it. There wasn't a lot of information on it on when I w looked it up actually, but I don't know. It's just like, huh? Um, okay. There's also episode like 46, I believe, of the Kobe anime. So you know, if you want to watch it, there you go. Well, that they had, like four, three episodes on it, but that was the first one. It's in like the 40s. But yeah, um, that's it. Uh, I wrote down on a sticky note, and then I was like, oh yeah, I'll be in the next part. So yeah, um, just follow that back up. I also um. <laughs> Since then, I watched the Corby anime movie, like literally directly after part two. I'm like, I feel like watching a movie. I watched, I think, I don't know. I was doing, so I was working. I think I was editing something together. I don't remember, but I was editing something. And I was like, I'll rest. I'll watch it on my other monitor. And I just kind of sat there and watched it for like the entire film. And it was, it was solid, honestly, from what I remembered of it. It's a lot better than I remember it, and it was actually really good and fun to watch. I think I started watching. This I, yeah, I started watching some of the episodes like the next day. I haven't came back to the series. So I wish the, there would be like the complete series to be on a box set, like a DVD box set. But that's not a thing. They don't have a complete box set of the, like, the series, which I would buy. But they just don't have that. That's the best way I like watch stuff, personally. Like, um, I found the other day, I found, well, this actually come months ago, I got, um, the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, but I got it was a complete series on DVD, and I started rewatching like the entire series with the DVD, just going through episodes. I don't know I was like doing that bone and like just looking up on YouTube or going on like Netflix, like oh yeah, like I'll do that. But typically on like Netflix, I won't go on there just to like oh yeah, I'm gonna like rewatch like um let's see like Sonic X. They just they just actually added Sonic X recently, a couple of months ago. Like me, a lot. It's a real tech. I'm about to watch shows. Like the only show I can think of in recent memory that I've rewatched is probably been Steven Universe, and that's mainly just because I wanted to, like, you know, refresh myself. Like you know, as of the day of this time of this recording, which is March 11th, but this one actually be being uploaded to like early April. But yeah. But, um, yeah, I've been re-watching some episodes of TV ever since it ends soon. That, yeah, it actually ended about a week ago, by the time y'all were hearing this. But, I was re-watching some of the episodes, it's like, that's the only time I really re-watch stuff, you know? I really don't do that a lot, I don't know why. Like, this whole thing like Netflix binging and all that, I don't do that a lot. I really don't. Why? I don't know why, but I just don't binge Netflix and such that type of, I just don't do that type of stuff personally I know I've been the biggest fan of it and I probably never will be I don't know and even then like when I watch Netflix series like I just watch um Kipo in the age of the wonder beast I think that's what it's called I don't exactly remember but um I've just I've been um while I was editing videos I just um I recently got a um the fire stick the Amazon fire stick and on that I plugged it into my TV and then on my top monitor, on my actual laptop screen, I was working on editing videos. And I just watched that entire series. But like me, I can't just sit down and watch something. I have to let it play. Like play while I'm working. So the only series that I actually sit down and watch really, and that's the new episodes really, is TV Universe. But if I'm watching with people, I can sit there because then I'm like I'm talking. I'm I feel like I'm doing something. But I can't just sit there and do stuff. That's just not me. I can't do that. I can't just sit there and talk. The people really. Also, this is kind of getting to the part of the game where the helpers become more of a hindrance than a assistance. <laughs> As you can see, I'm putting a, I put in a big effort, and you see, it's especially throughout the rest of the series, 
Well, I just put in way too much effort to keeping them alive, which really ain't worth it. Spike, if you have a second player, yeah, it's worth it. Because, you know, that multiplayer experience. But just having it as a CPU help boy, help boy's really not worth it. I wouldn't go out of your way. I just like having it because I want to show off all the help boys throughout the entire series. Still really not worth it, though, to be honest. Just speaking from experience here, I didn't. They really want, yeah. They didn't need to be. Well, no, I like them. I do still like them because it still did help throughout the game and all that. So I still like the concept of them. But you don't need to go to the extent that I did here trying to keep them alive and all that. Like, I kept just now this past couple of minutes, I've sat there like a couple times just constantly. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Feeding my help with countless different enemies and all that. Like, oh, please don't die. And I lost all my abilities because of that. I should have just kept it my hand before Corby really and just get a new help later, but that's how the cookie crumbles anyhow. I don't know. That's just me like and have a body don't want to be lonely. <laughs> oh no, I don't know. Anyhow, here is the final boss of Dino Blade. Dino Blade. So Dino Blade is just this big old rainbow board and you he's not too hard. He basically just he'll fly around the screen going back and forth. And he will also um that's basically it. He also like shoots like, his, his wings at him, which are like arrows, and he will grab you in that attack as well if you're not careful. If you hit him on his top, he won't really hurt you at all. But yeah, he's pretty easy to be if you use crash on him. I actually, it took me a couple tries to beat him, but eventually I just went and got crashed like you saw. And yeah, and there's just a little baby boards. What she eats? Dino, 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 Ugh. Dino Blade is a she, so yeah. And there we go, look at that. I do like how they was like, oh, Swiss be woods and getting the apples. I like these little cutscenes. I think they're neat. You see the little dino blade chicks um, grow up and all that. Kobe helped them, show them how to fly, and they eventually they all got reunited. Kobe's like, bye. <laughs> I love that. To be continued. Immediately, <laughs> we're gonna be jumping straight into my least favorite out of the eight games on here the Great Cave Offensive. The Great Cave Offensive is what the majority of this playthrough would be because of how long it is. And I'm not, don't, and if it wasn't for the fact that I cut out a lot of it, this series would be a lot longer. <laughs> I cut out probably good. I could have probably got a solid three more parts out of this. But, which we'll see in the next part why. I believe it's part four or five. I cut is where I show off all the parts I cut it out. For very obvious reasons. The Great Cave Offensive is an amazing concept. I like the concept of running around this open area, collecting all these different treasures and all that. As Corby and all that. You know, I enjoy it. I really do. The problem lies with the later parts, where it's just too confused and complicated for its own good. I don't know if it's just me, but I I love the beginning of the Great Cave Offensive, but I can never beat the Great Cave Offensive when I was younger. And I had to, I'll be honest, and I hate doing this, but I had to look up a walkthrough. Because I was like, okay, when I was recording this, I'm like, okay, I can beat this game in one night. I had to finish it the next day, because after Great, I beat all Great Cave Offensive. It took me a good two hours, I want to say, to beat it. And it was just, I don't know, maybe I'm like this puzzle here. We're going to actually be here for a little bit. Just because I did show off some of how those, some of the puzzles are. Just because I do actually want to show the game. I don't want to speed through it all. But like, what am I supposed to do with this puzzle? I don't know what, if I was, what I was doing wrong. But it was just, I couldn't get through this thing at the speed they wanted me to. I'm not sure what what they want me to do but you can see i kept trying to like hit the bomb the bombs the, um hit the buttons and all that quick enough i just couldn't do it at the pace they wanted me to i don't know i definitely feel like this could have been made better like that yeah, like how much faster can i really go unless i like wheel but you couldn't get wheel at this point in this level that's not just are you are you supposed to come back in this area? With this puzzle, feel free to put in the comment section below if y'all know how to do it. I didn't look up how to do it. I just looked up how to beat the Great Cave Offensive so I could just be done with it because I got tired of sitting here. And see, I tried to do the charge track through the wall. That didn't work. Anyhow, we're just going to keep going here, I believe. Yeah. 
But I don't know. If you know how to beat it, feel free to put me, let me know in the comments below. Tell me how possibly dumb I was. It's probably something really simple. But yeah, it's been two hours since game mode. Even in the final area, of the, or the final game mode of the area, I did not take two hours. It was about an hour and a half. This was definitely a circle for me. But I do want to say, um, I'm not going to, talk to get too much of the Great Key Offensive because we are reaching the end of the part. But the Great Key Offensive was, is a very great concept. I love the concept of it. I like the um, Metrovania, Metrovania like, style to it. It's like this huge map. You collect all these treasures and you get all this gold. I always thought that was cool. I liked it. And I like how you go all over this map and it's all these locations. And I like the theming around it. And I love the bosses. The bosses are really cool. I I have a bit of complaints with one of the bosses, but I still I still love the boss. I'm just really bad at it. <laughs> but I love it. It's um the whale one. We'll get to it next part, I believe. But yeah, it's just Yeah. Great Key Offensive, I just have a lot of gripes with it. I do like the save points here though. That is generous of it. It is very generous of it. But, um, yeah, that's basically all it for this episode there. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!